Hi, my name is Bisham Patel. I'm an applications engineer here at Iconics USA. In today's short video, I'll be introducing basics of leakage current testing. According to the 60601-1 third edition of the medical equipment standard, the leakage current is defined as simply current that is non-functional. This non-functional current is a result of stray leakage that happens to the dielectric material, which is protecting live equipment from equipment ground. The main difference between leakage current testing and other electrical safety testing is that the DUT must be powered on and fully functional. Leakage current test is further categorized into three different categories, earth leakage, touch current, and patient leakage. Measuring leakage current requires four essential components. Number one, the measuring device, also known as the MD. This is a circuit representation of the human body impedance network, used to measure the physiological effect of current through a human body. The MD varies from standards to standards and requires both the capacitive and resistive components. Number two, fault condition. Standard requires simulating the fault condition that the device under test may be subject to during normal operations. These fault conditions include open ground condition where a ground wire could be missing or a ground pin has been broken off. Reverse polarity, when an improper cabling creates line neutral on the opposite wire, this is known as a reverse polarity. Then you have open neutral. Open neutral condition creates an open wire on the neutral side, creating live circuits to the device under test. Number three, mains input voltage at 110%. The equipment is required to be powered from an isolated transformer at 110% of the highest input rated voltage. And finally, number four, leakage current limits. Acceptable leakage current under the 60601-1 standard range anywhere from 10 microamps all the way up to 10 milliamps. These are required for normal condition and single fault condition. In this part of the video, I'll be demonstrating a simple earth leakage test on a medical device. First, we need to connect the device under test to the mains input cable to the adapter box. Second, we want to ensure that the measuring device is selected to the proper standard. In this case, we're going to select 60601, the medical equipment standard. Next, we're going to ensure that the voltage being outputted from the Omnia series instrument through the internal power supply is set to 264 volts. This allows the device to be operated at 110% of the input voltage. Next, we're going to take a look at the fault condition. For step one, this is a normal operating condition, does not have any faults. You have a normal condition with neutral close, reverse off, and ground closed. For step two, we're going to include ground as an open. This creates a single fault condition. And last, we're going to be taking a look at leakage current. We want to enter the leak high limit, which the instrument will fail out if the leakage current exceeds this amount. In this case, we're going to enter 5,000 microamps as the high limit. Now let's take a look at how the test is performed. When running the test, the device under test gets 264 volts, no fault conditions happen, and leak is seen for the, by the instrument is 0.1 microamps. Again, remember, step one was no fault, which is a normal operating condition, assumes everything is in proper condition. Next step is open ground. This is a single fault condition, creates 69.3 microamps of leakage that is observed by the measuring device for this particular device. Thank you for watching this short video on leakage current testing. Please join us for our future videos on electrical safety testing. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you again.